2007, remittances from migrant workers doubled the size of direct foreign aid. Asian countries continued to top the recipient list in the world in 2009, with India, China, and the Philippines receiving almost $120 billion. Majority of recipients are poor, and monies are used to support everyday needs. Food, clothing, schooling, medicine, housing, or spending on family events. Sometimes sad occasions such as funerals, but most times celebrations like fiestas. Although these remittances do improve standards of living and have a multiplier effect on the local economy, they seem short-term in nature and often create a culture of dependency on the migrant workers to keep sending money. In the past decade, economic experts have noted a phenomenon called collective remittances, where migrants or migrant associations send money back home to benefit not just their family, but the communities where they come from. Western Union decided to find out more and asked the Economist Intelligence Unit to examine and explore the notion of collective remittances. The report triggered discussion among development experts, NGOs, governments, multilateral organizations, and migrant workers themselves. In 2009, Western Union decided it ought to have a conversation, a dialogue with multiple stakeholders from many disciplines. All participants agreed that capacity building and leadership were the key challenges to making collective remittances work. The groups pledged to continue the conversation. They recommended to channel remittances into providing communities with a sustainable livelihood. This was their action plan. The Western Union Foundation, the philanthropic arm of the Western Union Company, committed $250,000 to the United Nations Development Program to assist Filipino migrants living and working abroad to contribute to sustainable local development in their home countries. Another $250,000 will be given to Morocco towards achieving the same objectives. UNDP, working along with Western Union Foundation, governments across all levels, NGOs, academia, and senders and receivers, will develop a program that efficiently and accountably links hard-earned monies from overseas to create sustainable small businesses that generate jobs and economic opportunity back home in the Philippines. will be used to create a global best practice toolkit that can be used to make collective remittances more widespread and successful not only in the Philippines but the world over.